The Pac-Man ROM incorporates some of the most popular features from Paranoid Android, Cyanogen Mod and other AOKP ROMs. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to flash the Pac-Man ROM onto your Galaxy S4 i9505. So hey guys, Ash here from curseforover.com and you're watching my video tutorial on how to flash the Pac-Man ROM onto your Galaxy S4. So guys, the prerequisite here is that you need to have a Galaxy S4 i9505 that is rooted and has a custom recovery like Clockwork Mod or TWRP installed. And again, keep in mind this works only with the i9505 variant. So in case you don't know which variant you have, all you need to do is go into Settings, More, About Device, and there you can see your model number. The first thing you do here is back up all your apps and data because to flash this ROM we need to do a factory wipe that will wipe all your apps and data like call logs, messages and so on. So once you've backed it up, head on link 1 in the download section in the description that will take you to this thread on XDA forums. So click on this link and download the file. Clicking on link 2 in the download section in the description will take you to this thread. Click the link shown and download that file as well. Now transfer these two files to your internal or external storage. Once you've done that, go ahead and turn off your Galaxy S4. Wait for it to turn off. And now hold up volume, power and home. Once you see Galaxy S4 displayed, let the keys go and now you will boot into a custom recovery. So guys, don't be worried if your custom recovery looks a little different. As long as it doesn't say Android system recovery on top, you're good to go. If it says Android system recovery on top, go ahead, uh, check out my link to my root tutorial from the description, follow it, get the latest uh, custom recovery possible and continue. Okay, so the first thing you do is go into backup and restore. Okay, uh, guys, this is a Dutch recovery that I'm using. Uh, if yours is in a Dutch recovery, then the volume keys will double for navigation and the power button for selection. All right. So first go into backup and restore. This is optional, but highly recommended. Go ahead, take a backup of your, of your current ROM. In case in the future you want to go back uh, to your existing ROM, this is the easiest way to do so. So go ahead, back it up. Uh, I've already done that. So uh, next up go to wipe data factory reset and select wipe data slash factory reset and yes wipe all user data let's give it a moment all right so now I've go to wipe cache partition wipe cache and of course mounts in storage and hit format slash system yes format all right so now go back go into advanced wipe dalvik cache yes wipe dalvik cache all right so now go back again select install zip uh, if you have if you have the files that we downloaded on your external card, select external, else uh, choose it from SD card. And navigate to wherever it is that you have the files. First select the bigger file, not the G apps. Hit yes install. So guys, this is gonna take about a minute, so just wait for it to complete. Alright, now just uh, going back. Again, choose it from SD card. Navigate to the same place wherever you have the gapps file select the other zip file hit yes install all right so now go back and hit reboot system now so guys it's going to take about a minute to boot always remember when you flash a new rom the first boot is always going to be longer than your regular boot time so don't panic if it takes a couple of minutes, just wait for it to boot up and it will. I'll be back with you guys once the phone is back up. Alright guys, we're up. Uh, a few things to note here. I did not get a boot animation while booting up, so it looked as if the phone was dead for about a couple of minutes before uh, I got into the Android as upgrading screen. So uh, don't worry if that happens to you, just give it about two minutes, you will see the Android as upgrading screen. And the phone was on the Android as upgrading screen for about three minutes, so don't panic. 
give it about five minutes once it reboots your phone will boot up all right let me quickly get through setup here so we're up let me quickly jump into settings so there you go android 4.3 pacman rom installed so that's pretty much it guys for the installation of the pacman rom onto your galaxy s4 i9505 if you guys run into any issues or if you have any queries feel free to hit us up at curseforever.com forums and in the meantime if you guys do have any video requests for me or if you just want to stay updated on my latest videos and updates you can hit me up on facebook twitter or google plus the direct links to all my social networks can be found right below the like button in the description so that's pretty much it for this video hope it helped and if it did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that's pretty much it for now and i'll see you guys soon with more videos till then it's ash here from cursedforever.com signing off you guys have a great day bye bye now